Welcome back right now at 430. It is Thursday, first day, Thursday, as we call it around here, when we focus on topics impacting our furry friends. And you know, we've talked a lot about the importance of adopting or fostering a shelter pet lately, especially when you consider the kennels all across our area are maxed out. So for those who are looking to take the plunge with that and maybe have other dogs at home already, you probably want to listen up to this. So we've talked about something here called a slow and proper intro, and we wanted to dive into it a little bit further. So if you are picking up a new foster or a new forever friend, and maybe they have a note like this on their bio, needs a slow and proper in intro. It's probably because they're maybe a little bit stressed from shelter life. They might need some time to make a good impression on other pups, um, but they can certainly do so if you do things properly. And then you also have to consider this, how territorial your own resident pets might be of their home space. So I talked to a trainer about the best ways to introduce a new dog to other dogs in your home. Take a listen. Introducing them out in a neutral space, even before you let them off leash, both animals should be leashed, by the way, okay? Um, looking for body language from a distance. How are they interacting from a distance before you get them close? So there are different ways to introduce them, but like you said, um, what about toys? Yeah, I would leave the toys out. I would leave out, you know, the treats. I would make sure that things are picked up around the house. Anything that can be deemed high value to either dog, I would make sure that those things are picked up. And so think about this too, how you as a person would interact in a new and strange situation, especially if you're feeling stressed and you don't know the lay of the land. So you can really see why it's important to take things slow and deliberate with new pet interactions. And so on that note, as we do talk about the possibility of maybe applying this to a new foster dog or a new forever friend, I wanted to introduce you to Floyd. Since he is at CMPD Animal Care and Control, he's a long timer. He's an absolute sweetie. I've walked him so many times, both at the shelter as well as off on little doggy date dates. And he's a three-year-old lab mix. So he's looking for a foster or a forever home. He could benefit from a slow and proper intro. But as you can see with this uh, picture here, actually that's him walking with one of my new rescue dogs, Rocky. They had a great walk and it was all because of a nice slow interaction and slow encounter that we had with him. But you can see he is a real cutie and he does need some love in a forever home as well. Um, you know, if you do want to learn more about fostering, we've showed you this before, this QR code, you can go ahead and scan this and this will take you to the CMPD Animal Care and Control page where you can learn about how fostering works, but also sign up and fill out the pretty quick and easy application.